as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but with that last drive that culminated in a touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. It doesn't matter where you start with the football now. They have to feel great about their opportunity. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Harris. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Yeah, baby! But we all know the guy carrying the ball is going to get the credit, both in the stat line and probably in the newspaper. But guess what? Those guys creating holes, they couldn't feel better about themselves right now. Offensive line, tight end, probably even the wide receivers are involved. They're moving the ball well. Coming up on a second and six. They run again with Harris. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. 44 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. On first down, it's Harris. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Well, I think after that run, the defense get back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? On second down, this is Harris. And this is going to be a Steelers first down as the tackle made it about the 43-yard line. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. A nice burst there as they'll get about seven that time on the first down run. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to pose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Oh, he caught it. Just couldn't get the feet down. Couldn't get that toe tap sequence, right? I was ready to call him tippy toes if that one was completed. The heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. They run with Harris. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. They were ahead of schedule after the gain of seven on first down, but the defense does not budge on second and third. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL, and he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time, so make sure you get in shape. The Steelers send out their punter now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. The last couple of drives have ended in punts. Maybe the crowd minds that, but you're a defensive guy. You're okay with a couple of punt drives. Listen, I'm the guy that loves a 0-0 pitch game. All right, in baseball, I can handle that going into the seventh inning. I think the crowd, though, they want to see a little bit more excitement. Let's see if someone can break something free on offense and get going. Offense at a premium the last two drives. Now a first down throw, Warner. Getting this into the hands of Eric Dickerson. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. When you
you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. On first and 10, Warner out left to Anderson. A gain of six there on first. Warner going to throw right side here complete play action it's Warner toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but if they make them out of bounds, that does you no good. A second and 10 forthcoming here. Third quarter action in the Steel City of Pittsburgh, PA. get this one across midfield and down into Steeler territory. And a lot of times these plays, they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage. And here, they got to the outside, turned it upfield, and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it. first down it's a gain of six that time on third and two so the scoring dried up here in the third nothing that quarter for either side we'll return with more after this break you're watching the nfl on ea sports So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now Warner. Hauled in by Anderson, left side. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. First and ten. Warner going to throw deep for the end zone. And incomplete on the deep ball. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Now 
Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Throwing again, Warner. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. That winds up pushing him back 11 yards on the sand. And that'll bring up third. on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and a mile. Back to throw. Warner. And he will find his man on the outside. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. It's a gain of 11, but they're still well short. It's fourth down. Plenty of shouts from this crowd as they watch the replay. They want a challenge, and they're going to get one. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. He hit his first, now this from 43. And his kick is good. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13 7. So a good kick there, and they put the bow tie on it with three points. And let's face it, everybody wants a touchdown. We know that. But in the NFL, defenses are awfully good. You're not going to score each and every time. Be able to knock the ball through the post and take the three. By the way, I said bow tie. I meant just bow. Not Either the, way. Not the tie, but yeah. Either way. You got it. I just went right past it. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Taking it about the one. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped it to 17. The Steelers' offense now, they head back onto the field and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys, win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs, and that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Off the play fake, Bradshaw. Flushed out right, and he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Bradshaw got a man complete to Miller and he'll be out of bounds but able to get it up past the 45. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense and reading your keys you always hear about that and having your eyes in the right place sometimes your eyes can fool you how about that play action there that sprang the big guy didn't it? They only dump it over the top to him.
They'll run on first down. Harris. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, it's hard to have vision as a runner and find a hole when there's nothing but defenders in your way. They stacked that one up really well. But give him credit. Instead of trying to bounce it out and turn it into a big play, which might have turned into a big loss, Kai just took his medicine there and took the one yard. To throw on second down, Bradshaw. And this is caught. It's Brown. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams 33. Looking to throw, Bradshaw. And that's incomplete. Got out of the pocket, didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice, get rid of it, live to fight another down. Complete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Back to throw. Bradshaw. That swung out wide to Harris. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. Get to the 23 here on third. Operating from the gun. Bradshaw fighting his target. It's Ward. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They've been moving the ball well, but this drive was in danger of stalling out. Fortunately, this is a nice throw here, and they're able to pick up a new set of downs. down. Bradshaw. He gets it complete to Harris. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Fourth quarter. Down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. Single, single. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. On second down now, it's Harris. And the Rams defense gets to him again behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play. So now third down coming up. Now the Steelers hustling up to the line of scrimmage. He's back to throw. And this one is incomplete. What a great sequence by this defense so far. They've given him nowhere to go with the football. And they just have to make it stand up one more time because it appears that they've got their number. Can they not have a slip up here and allow the touchdown? So down six, and they know they need this one on fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And yeah, that is incomplete, but there is a flag. And on fourth down, this is a big call.
So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. Now the Steelers use the second of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They'll keep it on the ground. Dickerson, and he'll work his way forward up to the 22. Yeah. Now the Steelers going to use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. possession so Charles there are the numbers what's happened here defensive adjustments that's caused him to sort of fall off a bit I think so that has to happen you've got to make some changes because in the first half they were pretty effective but the second part is sometimes when you're doing really well you get off your game a little bit you get off the gas a little you're like okay we've got this thing and that's not necessarily the case maybe right now someone just needs to tell a joke in the huddle loosen things up and get their big guy going again and now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. A lot of practice time, a lot of thinking goes into two-minute drills, even on the defensive side. So now you want to make sure the guys understand. Continue to be aggressive, but make sure you're smart in doing so. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. He'll look to throw. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. They try to take a shot there on second down, and that leaves him because of the incompletion. A very tricky third and ten. And with the time situation, you would expect him to try and get it all in this one play, but there's still enough time that if you can take something shorter, gain some yardage, make it a more manageable fourth down if you need to. Open man there is Swan, complete. And the Steelers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, I guess at the very least, they got the tackle from keeping him out of the end zone. Yeah, you're looking for that silver lining, aren't you? But guess what? Everything changes now after that big play. They've got a chance to strike. They come up on a first and goal and most likely four down territory as they need a touchdown and a PAT for the lead. And that is caught. Touchdown. And they're an extra point away from taking the lead here in the final minute. They got the dramatic score to tie the game here late fourth quarter. Now all eyes resting on the foot of one man. Yeah, no doubt about it. I, you know, your brother called me before the game. That's his guy in fantasy. He needs this one badly. So they're not home yet. Still a critical extra point here to break the tie. And this puts him on top by a penny. It's 14-13. Just a four-play drive that time. And it's capped off by the touchdown and the ever-critical extra points. So it is a one-point lead here in the final minute of action. Touchdown. Well, here 
comes a return. From just now on the return. Oh, no, the ball is loose. And it looks like Steeler football. It is. How many times in the course of a game do you talk about momentum plays? And I think we just saw one there. Just scored, right? Just took the lead. Just took the lead, went downfield, got the ball free again and picked it up. They got a chance to really get the momentum on their side now. And now they'll try to pile on. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. They run with Harris. And effective running here. He'll take it down inside the 10. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Now here's another carry for Harris. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. Third down, here's Harris. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. Let's go. Victory all but assured now as they take a knee here and they're going to escape with a one point victory. So this one in the win column for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And it was their defense that led the way, allowing just three points that lone field goal in the entire second half. And remember the old adage offense sells tickets. Defense does what? Wins championships. And in this game, maybe a championship wasn't won, but a game was by the defense, right? Help them to just a field goal? That's a heck of a job. I mean, when they went out there with that determination and a pretty good game plan, pretty good idea of what they wanted to accomplish, just love the execution.